Engineer775 here with a uh, special little find I just got. Um, I was very fortunate there was a lady a couple hours away that uh, had this pump sitting in a barn. Her dad never followed through on the project. I think he passed away. And uh, she had called Dankoff, um, which is a, this is a Dankoff Solar Force piston pump. It's a battery operated model. And it's a great old school pump with a newer style motor on it. This is a 24 volt unit. And what the pump is capable of doing is pressurizing water to about 100 PSI. And so um, I just got it. I took a few things apart on to look at the crank and there's still some oil in it. Um, and I was just making sure everything worked. I paid her for it. Um, I've been wanting to get one of these for a long time to do a video on. I have bought a uh, seal and a uh, seal kit and it has um, everything to every parting line a new gasket and I've got the leather cup so this has a leather two pistons with leather cups on them and there's all sorts of seals so I got a rebuild kit for it I got a new belt for it and so what I'm gonna do is uh, basically go through it and rebuild it but I wanted to make sure it ran first so there's a few things on the mounting brackets I don't like um, they never ran it and I could tell by the way the wires were never hooked to anything so I'm just doing a real quick, just want to show you that it does work and uh, it's important that you hook it up the right way. And uh, <laughs> So this is a 24 volt setup and we'll just see how she runs. Nice and quiet, really like that. I mean it's not even mounted, it's just sitting on the table here. So super quiet pump. I'm looking forward to putting some new cups, new seals in it and a fresh uh, oil change. But the beauty of this pump, uh, one of the beauties of this pump, it requires no filtration. It's got an inch and a quarter uh, intake for the suction side and then a one inch out on, on the uh, pressure side. Um, just soaking a few of these fittings. It's been sitting, this, uh, it was bought 15 years ago, it's been sitting in a barn. I'm going to put this pressure switch right here so we can control, turn the pump on and off. Obviously this will be hooked to a bladder tank. The beautiful thing about this pump, it's very forgiving. If you want to pump out of a spring or out of a, a creek, um, it will tolerate, uh, not really dirty water, but it will tolerate water that uh, some of the other booster pumps uh, won't handle as well. So really looking forward to going through it. Everything is brand new. It's just 15 years old at least. So this is the battery version. They also make a PV Direct version, which has a... Uh, a time tooth belt and a, a sprocket here that's also, um, uh, it's got uh, timing, it's not, it's a geared sprocket as well as the pulley on the motor. So 24 volt solar fo force piston pump. I'm um, looking forward to just tearing it down, replacing the, the, the cup, leather cups on the pistons, the seals, making sure everything's good. But she sounds beautiful, nothing wrong with it. Um, it's got its own pressure relief valve, so I'll be putting a pressure switch in. And I think I'm going to run my house off of this. It's just such a sweet pump. And uh, I'm thinking of um, adding this to the collection of uh, solutions that are uh, off the grid using batteries and a solar charging system to keep these batteries maintained. I think that's it. That'll be this is video one, an introduction to the Solar Force Piston Pump, a pump that can lift water 230 feet basically 100 PSI it'll produce. Super quiet, does not need, um, does not need uh, input filtration. You can filter on the, you know, the after the, your pressure tank if you want. So great, just a, I'm excited. It's kind of where old school meets new school, newer style motor, but an old school uh, piston pump. And the neat thing is you can even, you could actually take the belt off and pump water by hand. And I might be tempted to put a hand crank on this. I don't know if anybody's ever done that. But, uh, you know, I always got to mess with things. So I might put a handle on this thing and see if I could hand crank and pump water if the batteries went down. So it would be a all-in-one hand pump, piston pump. I haven't done that, so I don't know if that'll work, but project for another day. All right, this is Engineer uh, 775 signing off. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. See you soon.